Hey there, and welcome back to Desolation, Desolation Town. Um, we finally have a new sim move in. So this is our new sim. So that's Gladiolus Amasisha, I want to say. Um, he is a Final Fantasy 15 character, if you don't know who that is. But anyways, he moved into our town. I did not move him in. He moved in on his own. So we're going to play his household today. And uh, hopefully by the time we're done his household, more people will have moved into the town and we can continue. If not, then the next episode we'll go back to myself sim and play another um, episode of her household. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here we have Glad and I'm pretty sure that is not the clothing I put him in. Uh, I did go in and alter his clothing a little bit. Uh, just to make sure he had all the appropriate clothing for each season and everything. So this is the abandoned house that we are working with. It is an old house trailer or whatever. And then he's got a little shop back here with... It has a flower arranging desk and a woodworking desk. And yeah, the all the trash. It's kind of hard to see all the trash in the winter time. But we're going to go into his house and this is a house that whoever made this like a gazillion bottles and uh, we don't want to be drinking strange stuff here because there's fizzy plasma there's there was another strange thing here that I don't even want to uh, I think there was yeah something from Strangerville that we do not want to drink because then he will become possessed, but that makes it interesting. But anyways, we're going to clean up as much as we can so he can access the bathroom, the kitchen. I think most of it is accessible already, but uh, yeah, the ones that have a gazillion bottles and stuff like that are just insane to clean up because <laughs> it takes one episode to clear off 25 bottles. <laughs> so... Um, okay, he's cooking somewhere. Where is he? Oh, in the park. Okay. Oh, we forgot to set his money. He's not allowed to have any money. <laughs> okay, so you can have that food. <laughs> and we'll go back into your house. And so I'm going to start by clearing out the fridge and the stove. because these are basically useless, so we'll just get rid of those in case we find a new one, then we have a spot for them. Like, whoever put all these bottles in the fridge, you're insane. <laughs> okay, well that was, that doesn't look like I got very far, <laughs> but that was 25 items, and yeah, we cleared a spot by the fridge, but we didn't make sure that he could get to the bathroom or the bed, so I guess he's out of luck because I totally forgot to do those areas. But we can clean up any garbage or anything that he can pick up and throw away. Uh, he got $44 out of some of the, I'm going to say from selling or from returning the bottles to the depot or whatever. Here in where I live, uh, you can bring your cans and bottles to a recycling facility and get money back for them. Alright, where are you? You're still over here. We're going to put this in your inventory. It'll probably go bad, but... Um, so, we've got $44. Not much we can do with that. I don't know if he has a job. Oh, he is a lifeguard, I think? prolific whistler so he works in 12 hours so we can head over to the junkyard and see if we can't get him a fridge and a stove I mean he does have a barbecue in the backyard so that helps okay so the goal is to find a fridge and a stove I think he's got a table and a um, he's got a full bathroom and he's got uh, living air 
living room stuff and a bedroom stuff so he really only needs the kitchen items so we'll get him to start dumpster diving so he hasn't got any promotion requirements and he's really good at what he does so far and his aspiration is jungle explorer so we'll see if we we can do that of course you need money to actually go to silver dorada so he doesn't have any money to go there at the moment did you find a teapot the schnapple deluxe kettle oh, okay well that that will be okay have some tea. Yeah, these dumpsters aren't filling up like I hoped that they would, but I know I only turned on the landfill option later in my last um, episode, so so it might take a bit for these to start producing appliances. So I probably should meet some people. We know nobody. So this is a good place to meet people. People come here on a regular basis. So also, if if characters have the klepto trait, um, they could probably swipe some useful things out of out of this area here. That might be helpful to them, but so far I don't have any people with the klepto trait. So. And I really hate the fact that they just automatically take a bath because that takes forever. And I feel like it doesn't clean them as well as the shower. Okay, why don't you fix this playhouse while you're here in case some kids come and they can play. Alright, so then we're going to go back to seeing if we can find some items. So this is the outfit that I put him in. I don't know why he was wearing that other one. So far, not a whole lot. We'll just do a couple of dives per bin. We found another $8, so that's good. We have a shower. Can we not get to this one? No, we can't get to that one. Okay, so... I know he has to go to the bathroom, but let's, let's get rid of these burnt pieces. Not a whole lot to get rid of. Anna Maria von Winberg. I really hope that they move into the castle or something. That would be just so cool if they would. And Edward Richard von Winberg. So that would be that would be just so cool. Uh, what else are your needs? You need another shower. So we'll go do that. Yes, you like fitness. That is your whole <laughs> existence is fitness. Um, Alright, let's meet some more people. Cheerful introduction. Okay, so should we head home and see what we can accomplish at home? We're going to head on home, take out some of the things that we got out of the dumpster. Um, is there anything that we can just clean up? I can't reach anything. Uh, we can search the pockets of this laundry. If we can get to these, then we can actually use the bed. Okay, so we do have a couch, a stereo, a bath shower thing, sink and a toilet, busy plasma. Oh, he's off to work. All right. So we'll make a little bit m money, a little bit of money with him going to work. I know these are just part-time jobs, so they don't um, have a lot of income. So let's check the neighborhood stories. Oh, see, he's back already. Um, okay, yeah, he has moved in. Okay, that's a friendship. Another friendship. Another friendship. And then nothing of note. Okay, so he can't get to the bed. 
I mean, I'm sure if you... Here, can you... Can you throw this away? I don't know if you have a garbage can. We could probably buy a garbage can. Oh, you've got dumpsters, so yeah, you're, you're good. Okay, so can we... We can't search the pockets of these, but we can put this in our inventory. I'll take a shower. I think that it's a tub full of, the tub is full of stuff, but we'll see if we can still take a shower. Okay, we can take a shower with all this garbage in there. <laughs> so next time we'll have to clear out some of that garbage. Um, put that in our inventory. Throw that away. It is just a fizzy drink, but I won't, I don't know, it's fizzy plasma, we're not going to touch it. Oh, there is a TV here, just lying on the floor. And then let's see if we can clean up any of these pieces here. And you are hungry, so I don't know if your hot dogs are still good. Uh, they are spoiled. But maybe we're going to try one anyways. He must have more than one winter outfit. Because I did not put this on him. So maybe he had more than one. I forget what time we started. I think it was in the morning. Okay, so we can't reach... Oh, there's all this. So for some reason we can't reach this. So let's see if we can reach this. Might have to move them all onto the cupboard. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling so good. Oh, he's a night owl. Oh, he... Oh, he had a promotion. Did he get anything from that promotion? He has give, been given a raise. Okay. So, nothing in the inventory that can help us out. Well, I think he can get to it. So, if we can move the cups onto the cupboard. Well, why wouldn't you take the plate? Okay, well, we'll move the cups onto the cupboard, and then at least he can clean up this stuff. Okay, he's taking a lot of stuff. Not taking the plate, though. Not sure why. Maybe it's a debug plate and it's not an actual plate. Okay, so we were able to clean up all these dirty cups, and we can't get to the bed, so we'll have to sleep on this couch. <laughs> so yeah, the next time we come in, we'll have to try and remember to clear off the bed space and uh, inside of the tub. <laughs> Make something greater than poor quality. Analyze a book. Get some sleep. Okay. Well, he'll get some sleep now. I don't know if the nap will count. But be nice once winter is over. <laughs> but we've got a ways to go before winter is over. Uh, what? Okay, we've got rebate day the next day. I guess Winterfest is happening again. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, myself, Sim, will have better success on that day. <laughs> You're still sleeping? Oh, you really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, too late! Oops. <laughs> For the first little while, things aren't going to be as interesting in the gameplay until we start going a few rounds. Then we'll have more fi fi like dynamics and job changes and things like that. So so we're going to just check the neighborhood stories, see if anybody else has moved in. Like, I really don't need to know the friendship things. I guess if I'm playing The Sims, then it's kind of nice to see if all of a sudden somebody has a boyfriend or a girlfriend or, or something. Okay, so nobody has moved in as of yet. Okay, and when is your next work? Eight hours? So we've probably played 24 hours. We do have $300, so I don't know if we can... Should buy a fridge? I don't know if we can put a fridge in here. 
uh, let's see. Okay, we can buy this fridge, but I can't get it in here because of all the wall stuff. So we will have to do without the fridge this time. Yeah, not a whole lot to do this round. So I'm wondering if we should, until we have more sims, if we should just pick play 48 hours instead of 24 hours just to get more established. Okay, so can we get into here? Um, I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how a pro gets great price. So we don't really need anything at the flea market, so I'm just going to leave that. Um, can you put these in inventory? No. Okay, so I don't think we can do anything with the woodworking table or the the um, flower arranging table. So is it Victor? Was his name? <laughs> Have they moved in? I hope so. Um. All right, we're going to ask you about your career. <laughs> yeah, my house is a mess. Yours will be too if you move in. So. <laughs> nice handshake. Sorry about the pizza boxes. They seem to be glued to the table and I haven't found a way to get them off of there. Assistant manager at Dewey, Cheaton, and Howe Incorporated. And I can't click on you, or is it just so much garbage that's on the walls that I can't? Um, let's see. Practice fighting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you guys are gonna dance. <laughs> Oh, he's going to clean up for me. How nice. <laughs> uh, so, Victor. Is it Victor? No, Edward. <laughs> Edward. Uh, tell me... Tell me more about... Uh, let's discuss our favorite authors. I don't know if I like reading, but I must if I'm discussing authors. Um, let's see... Okay, let's get to know Edward. Gladiolus learned about Edward's financial status, and Edward seems to be doing okay. <laughs> well, that was, for just meeting somebody, that was a very interesting information. Unless he likes to boast about his wealth. Okay, so let's turn that off. Oh, good, you're... You're nicely cleaning up stuff. Uh, we might have to go barbecue something again. Alright. Let's grill some camper stew. Uh, yeah, you can stop being embarrassed now. You can share a meal with Edward. Well, there's some things to dig up too. Is Edward still here? Did he go? Oh no, he is still here. Cleaning up some more stuff. I know these stains probably will not come out, so don't try too hard. If you want to wash the walls, go right ahead. Okay, why don't you call to meal? Have a winter picnic. Uh, you help yourself. Uh, let's see, what else do we want? To discuss ancient history. Oh, yeah, because he's a archaeologist or whatever. We probably have enough money to head over to Silver Dorada. I'm wondering if we should 
bring out the woodworking table and get our handiness up because with the archaeology trade, I think there is some things that you do with handiness. So, so I'm just going to bring out the woodworking table out of there so we're not getting rid of garbage but we're moving stuff. So we'll also do this table so they can be used. Alright, so let's practice some woodworking. Um, we don't need furniture. Uh, let's start with a bunny sculpture. So yeah, we definitely want to get our handiness up for for our jungle explorer adventure. So maybe the next round we'll have enough money to actually go to Selva Dorada. Because he, he should work. He'll probably be working all the days that we're not playing him, so... So he should be able to collect a fair amount of money. Did Edward go home? Oh. oh yeah, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. So what did we find out about Edward? Okay, he... Let's see, neither friend nor, f nor foe. We just found out his he's got a business, he's a high school graduate, and he is married to Anna Marie. So... Hopefully they move into the town. It would be interesting because we're starting to get to know them. So it would be nice if they moved into the area. It's a big commitment. That's for sure. Moving into this town with its problems. This is just a creepy house. Like There's cameras set up everywhere. Lighting. <laughs> we all know what kind of house this was. So <laughs> we'll get it back to... Uh, decent kind of house. <laughs> kind of gross. Alright, so you made that. Uh, you can listen to that, I guess. What are you doing next? Well, let's continue to craft and get our handiness level up. And then we'll we'll move on at I'm going to say 5 in the morning. I think that's a good time to, to quit. Maybe we'll go from 5 to 5 uh, in the morning as our set time. Oh, he's missing work. You need to go to work. You need to get some more money. That is pretty cold in this weather. He's a pretty tough guy, I guess. <laughs> Who's, t is there somebody here? Oh, who's this? Chelsea Rush. Well, hopefully these people are not just wandering. The, maybe they're just checking out the town, see if, oh, do we really want to tackle these fixer-uppers? Like, it's a lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> but I have it so that um, it's kind of the, the history of the town. It was abandoned and... Everybody just kind of left whatever and uh, came or left the town. Vandali vandalizers came and took over it and just totally trashed what was good about the houses. Some houses just kind of fell apart. And uh, yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff going on on in the town and so the realtors were offering everybody could come live here for free or they could get a house for free and fix it up and the idea was to make the town thriving again so that is kind of the story of the town And so hopefully we'll get all the sims living in here. Um, on my trial save game, all but four of the houses, like I had all of the town into houses except for the park, I think, and a dump. And the last four houses just wouldn't fill up, so, so I kind of just figured that they allow for 13 households in this world and then businesses and parks for the other other spots so so that's kind of what I was thinking let's put you back into some winter clothes 
I don't know why you wouldn't go inside. Why don't we resume this sculpture? So we have 487, so that's a good chunk of money already. We only have five hours left of this save, or this uh, household, so we'll just keep him working on on some sculptures, get his woodworking skill up, or his uh, handiness skill up. So maybe next round he'll be able to go to Salvadorada and start on his his uh, aspiration. Okay, he's doing pretty good with these. He really wants to dance, though. Uh, likes dancing. <laughs> okay, you can like dancing. But just don't obsess over it. <laughs> it's interesting how the town buildings in the background are all pristine and nice. You can't go there. <laughs> Alright, he is hungry. I'm pretty sure his camper stew is spoiled. We will eat it anyways. Just because. <laughs> He doesn't seem too upset by eating bad food, so... Um, oh, now he is. Okay. Well. You can go... Uh, hmm, study for historical insights. That's interesting. I've never seen that interaction before. <laughs> he has to do it while sitting on the toilet. That's funny. And then we're going to have our series of naps. All right, so we are at 5 a.m. Uh, wood was one of the original crafting materials sculptures would use. Sculptors would use. Unfortunately, not many pieces survive the centuries. The sculpting techniques techniques have survived and are in are in display in this piece. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and hopefully, we'll have more um, townies moving in. For the next episode, if not, we're going to go back to Jen's household and play some more there. Um, and anyways, I'm not sure if I'm going to record tomorrow or if uh, I will um, wait till Monday or Sunday or whatever. But but uh, for now, we'll just kind of leave it up in the air. If I have time tomorrow, I will do another episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I know things are a little bit slow at first, but... But hopefully we'll we'll get some good stories coming out very soon. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.